Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video on how to, how to write down the lab report for experiment 2 SK025. Okay, hopefully you have watched the video on the Unique Kimia KMPK YouTube channel. Okay, then after you have watched it, so let's do the lab report together. Okay, so for the lab report, what you have to include in the report itself, first we have to include your name, class and the title. Okay, so um, the next part that you have to include is the objective. Okay, so the objective is basically, uh, it is based upon the learning outcome from your lab manual. Okay, so for this experiment, uh, the uh, learning outcome is to determine the heat capacity of calorimeter, capital C heater. And then to determine the heat of neutralization of HCl and NaO. This is actually our enthalpy of neutralization. Okay, so again, delta H is actually Q divided by N. Uh, called neutralization NH2O. Okay, so basically this is actually uh, the objective of our experiment itself lah. Okay, next what you have to include is the theory. Okay, so for the theory too, you have to write down all the introduction in the lab manual. So, here is actually your introduction kan. Ha, so, kita salin sahajalah semua ni. Okay, next is actually for the procedure. Okay, so procedure, uh, you have to change for the procedure. You have to change it into a passive sentences. Okay, so kita tengok dekat sini. Uh, for our experiment, we have two part. Part A dengan part B. Okay, so part A ni, part B ni Miss dah tukarkan sikit. Uh, I have changed it to past, uh, into a passive sentences and uh, I have changed it into past tense. Okay, cuma ni uh, nak bagitahu kamu, for this one, uh, procedure set uh, number one ni, you don't have to draw lah. Uh, sebab tu dekat sini pun, it's a simple one. Here I mentioned that a simple calorimeter was set up, the temperature of empty calorimeter was measured. So, the um, the step for the procedure itself one is very straightforward. It's just that, uh, based upon the lab manual that I have shared to you too, kan ada yang missing klikkan the green one kan? And the green one is actually uh, for further instruction when we are able, uh, if we are able to do the experiment face to face next week, hopefully we are able lah. Okay, but then again, yang the green one ni tak perlu include pun lah dalam kamu punya procedure. It's just that here, uh, I hope that it helps kalau kita buat experiment face to face nantilah. Okay, uh, and then for the part B itself, dekat sini dia ada kata pipet 25 mil kan. And then, okay, macam mana nak buat dia jadi past tense. So, here I have, I have helped you to write that the 25 mil of now solution was put into kilometer and 25 mil of HCL solution was put into a beaker. Okay. So that's part lah. Okay, so yang another, so another three more ni uh, is quite straightforward. So I believe you can change it into passive sentences by yourself. Okay, so sebenarnya when you look uh, based upon the experiment itself from the video, the video yang KMPK tu tak sampai 6 minit. Dalam 5 minit something lah kan. So sebenarnya this experiment is very simple. Uh, yang yang complicated dia, yang pening dia is actually the calculation part. Okay, so let's do it here. Uh, the experiment itself, we have two part, part A, part B. So, for the part A, determination of the heat capacity of calorimeter, which is our CC. Okay, based upon the information that I have given to you, uh, kita dah ada dah, yang ini dah ada information ni kan, uh, all the temperature. Okay, here the temperature of empty kilometer, the temperature of hot water, and then the temperature that, uh, the temperature for each 10 second for 120 second and the temperature that remain constant. Okay, so how do I get the T3 ni? The temperature that remain constant ni, kamu kira lah dalam banyak-banyak ni, mana yang temperature that remain constant paling lama? So, dalam kes ni, yang 52 degree Celsius ni, it, sta um, it stays for 50 second kan? So, that is the one that we're going to take as the temperature that remain constant T3. Okay. Okay, so from uh, so, how do we get the CC from this information? Okay, so based upon our uh, concept from calorimeter, is that heat absorbed by the reaction is heat released to the surrounding. Heat absorbed by the reaction, in this case, is our calorimeter lah. Surrounding ni dalam kes ni adalah our water itself. Okay, so heat absorbed by the calorimeter is equal to CC, our heat capacity here, our unknown, and delta T. Delta T tu T final minus T initial where the final must be a bigger number and the T initial must be a smaller number lah. Okay, so the final temperature for the calorimeter is the temperature that remain constant tu. Yang dalam calorimeter kita tu kan. 
yang C ni the initial temperature tu adalah the first part, uh, the first of the experiment tu yang empty kilometer ni so that is uh, the delta T for the kilometer ok so heat release to the surrounding is actually our water so kat sini adalah kita punya M cap so how do we get the mass of water is 50 because actually we measure 50 ml of water kan into 100 ml of our measure uh, into our 100 ml of uh, a beaker ok so for the case of water density dia is equal to 1 so for the case of water we will assume the volume of water is equal to mass of water since the volume of water kita 50 ml so kita akan assume the mass of water is 50 gram ok kita punya CW ni is 4.18 our constant and delta T again final minus initial a bigger value minus smaller value bigger value tu the initial temperature tu 54 the smaller value kita, that temperature that remain constant. Water that remain constant tu, is 52. So, we get the value of our CC ni. Okay, eh, alamak lah. Ini, uh, tolong betulkan kat sini, kita akan padam. Uh, so, we do get the value of heat capacity of calorimeter. So, that is actually for part A. So, again, we have to include lah the unit itself. Okay, next part is to determine the heat of neutralization of HCl and NaO. Okay, so here is actually our delta H of neutralization. Sebenarnya, it's actually uh, heat release divided by uh, number of mole of H2O. Okay, but then from the experiment itself, what is the data that um, we have to measure is the initial temperature of now uh, our acid, our base and acid. Okay, so from here, once you have calculated the now of HCl, you have to calculate the average initial temperature. Gonna add this to divide by two. Okay, then once you have stirred the solution itself, when it when it has been mixed, you have to stir the solution, can? And you have to record the maximum temperature. It is thirty four degrees Celsius. So you can see the temperature increase lah from yang twenty eight atau twenty seven ni to thirty four. Because remember, heat of neutralization atau enthalpy of neutralization is heat release. And one mole of water is formed, can? So that's why lah the temperature will increase. And then the uh, difference in temperature must a bigger value minus a smaller value yang G ni. So we do get our delta T for this direction. Uh, direction of B ni delta T dia adalah this one lah yang I ni. Okay again delta H is equal to Q divided by N. To calculate the Q, Q is actually calorie meter plus water. So calorie meter ni kita punya cat, water ni kita punya M cat. Okay, so how do we get the heat capacity of kilometer? Uh, this is the one that we have found from the previous one. Ah, uh, yang ni ya. Okay, the I, the delta T is this, is this one. Okay, mass of water. In this case, kenapa 50 again? Because HCl kita 25 ml. Now, kita 25 ml. When we combine it, we're going to form water. Water tu akan jadi 50 ml. But since density of water is equal to 1, we're going to assume mass water equal to volume of water. Okay, and then CW is 4.18. Delta T, again, our I ni lah. Then we do get our Q to be a value where the unit must be in joule. Okay, ambil saja in joule. So, that is for our Q. Next step, what we're going to find out. Okay, because kita nak cari delta H is equal to Q divided by N H2O. So, right now, what we're going to find out is number of mole of H2O itself. Okay, so macam mana nak tahu number of mole of H2O? Sedangkan from the information given, we only know MV, molarity and volume for NaO, as well as molarity and volume for HCl. So, from the molarity and volume, I'm going to find out the number of mole for my NaO and HCl. Okay, why? Because I want to compare it uh, to determine the number of mole of H2O. Sebenarnya, kita kena compare lah between these two, which one is the limiting reactant to determine the NH2 ni lah. But then when we calculate it, we can see the number of mole is the same, 0 0.025. So it means that uh, number of mole of H2O ni pun sama juga. Dia adalah 0 0.025 mole. Okay, so from here, once I've determined the Q, I've determined the NH2O. So kita bolehlah cari, kita punya delta H. Okay, so the Q reaction divided by number of mole of H2O. Uh, Q ni, uh, yang kita dapat pada sini lah. Uh, number of mole of H2O ni, is actually the one here. So, to, terus divide by 0 0.025 mole. Okay, once you have calculated um, this value, you will get a value kat sini lah. The unit will be joule per mole. Uh, so, joule per mole, so this will be the unit. If you want to change it into kilojoule per mole, what you have to do here, kamu kena divide kan 1000. 
then you will get a new value lah, your negative L ni. So, that is actually the calculation for part B. Sebenarnya calculation part B ni yang panjang sikit. Calculation part A quite straightforward. Part B ni yang panjang sikit lah. Okay, sebenarnya ni pun basis of what we have learned during we learn 2.2 calorie meter. Uh, kita dah belajar dah heat of neutralization. Dia memang step dia quite long is actually this part actually. Okay, so next for the lab report, what you have to include is the discussion. Okay, so for the discussion, uh, you have to include the possible error and precaution. So, actually you have to include minimum 2 lah. Uh, minimum 2. In this case, possible error, you uh, you should try yourself. Uh, cuba dulu. Kalau uh, nanti kita akan discuss, hopefully when we have uh, lab face to face. Kalau tak ada, kita akan fikir, uh, uh, think of a new plan. Okay. Next is actually uh, precaution. So, what are the precaution that we can uh, take when uh, doing the experiment? First, when you measure the liquid in a measuring cylinder, you have to put the measuring cylinder on a flat surface when you take the measurement itself. Uh, maksudnya, you have to put on top of the table lah. Janganlah letak atas tangan kamu macam tu the, um, on the air macam tu. You cannot lah. Okay, next, when we transfer the solution, we have to use a filter funnel to avoid spillage. Okay. Uh, for the part B itself, um, you have mixed our HCl and NaO, right? So, the HCl solution should be poured into NaO solution immediately. Okay, next, when we're using the calorie meter, we're using the lead. Okay, the lead too should be closed immediately and tightly to reduce the heat loss to the surrounding. Okay, and then the last precaution is actually we're going to use the same calorie meter for both experiment. Uh, experiment A dengan B, we're going to use... The same calorimeter to ensure the amount of heat absorbed is the same. Okay, so that is for the precaution. Uh, Miss dah tolong banyak dah sebenarnya kat precaution ni. Possible error ni. Uh, you just have to change based upon the precaution itself je. Uh, if not, nanti kita discuss sama-sama lah. Eh? And last but not least is the conclusion. Okay, so for the conclusion, uh, tak nak lah nak kata. I don't want uh, you to write down objective is achieved. If you want to write down objective is achieved, okay, so again, what is your objective? Okay, first objective kita in this experiment is to determine the heat capacity. So, you have to mention lah, the heat capacity of calorimeter is what? So, the value, uh, the value yang kita dah cari dekat part E ni, yang ni, uh, you have to include it um, as well as the unit itself. Kalau unit salah, walaupun the, un, uh, the value is correct, but then unit salah, akan salah lah. Okay, you have to write down the, the heat capacity of calorimeter. And then the second uh, objective of the experiment is to answer ataupun to determine the heat of neutralization. Okay, so to determine the heat of neutralization, okay, it must, uh, you can take the negative L ataupun the negative K. Okay, uh, the negative ni must be included eh. Uh, walaupun when you calculate it, you won't get a negative. Negative ni you have to add it yourself to show that heat is released. Uh. Memang uh, negatif ni kalau kamu dapat memang sebenarnya this one will get positive value. This one pun positive value. So sebenarnya memang takkan dapat negatif lah. Ha, yang ini pun um, is a big value juga. Tapi negatif ni you have to add it yourself. Okay. Okay so that's it. Um, the video on how to write down the lead report for experiment 2 SK0 to 5.